This video is about conjunctions and will focus on coordinating conjunctions. What are coordinating conjunctions? Coordinating conjunctions are words that join together two independent clauses or two sentences. They are like glue. They pull the sentences together and they do nothing to word order. The coordinating conjunctions or coordinierende Konjunktionen are und, oder, aber, sondern, denn. The three at the bottom come after commas and the two above only have commas in lists. In sentences that have the same subject and verb, you can choose to omit them the second time or to leave them in. For example, ich studiere Mathe and ich studiere Biologie. Your answer can be either ich studiere Mathe und ich studiere Biologie or ich studiere Mathe und Biologie. And examples for the subject or verb are different. You need to keep both subject and verb to stay grammatically correct. Remember, unlike some other languages, verbs in German need their subject either to the left or right of them. This is not to say that people may not leave them off when speaking, as people do. Below are some examples for you to try, and to the upper right you have the conjunctions chart, just in case you forgot a few of them. Pause the video now to try them on your own. You should have Tom trinkt cola, aber er trinkt lieber Kaffee. So the sentence has but in it, and there's two different options for but. It is Tom drinks cola, but he prefers to drink coffee. Would you say Tom drinks cola, nevertheless he prefers to drink coffee? Or would you say Tom drinks cola, rather he prefers to drink coffee? Nevertheless works better, and that's why we put aber here. For number two, ist du pizza oder ist du spaghetti? Or you could have ist du pizza oder spaghetti, since both the subject and the verb are repeated. Number three, die Studenten gehen nicht ins Kino, sondern sie machen Hausaufgaben. Here is another one where we have but. The students are not going to the theater, they're doing homework. So should we have the student, students are not going to the theater, nevertheless, they are doing homework, or the students are not going to the theater, rather, they are doing homework. Rather makes more sense here, so we used Zondern. For number four, ich lerne viel, denn ich bin Student. Number five, Max hört Jazz und Steffi liest Bücher. Number six, spielen Sie Volleyball oder kochen Sie Abendessen? This time, the subject was repeated, but the verbs were different, so we needed to repeat both subject and verb.